1914. Mm. Yeah, well, I think it's, um, you know, Todd and Todd's got to look at it, you know. The referees are just doing what they're told to do, so um, we've talked about this for a, a month now. Um, so, as I said, the play, I think what you saw at the end of the game was because of the 1914 penalty can, the players are getting frustrated. Um, and, you know, penalty after penalty, at, at, as I said, you can't blame the referees. I heard Ricky talk last week and, you know, it's not the, the referees' fault. They're doing what they've been told to do. So um, we need to go. Someone else, you go and ask the, without being rude, Margie, someone else needs to go and ask Todd. Yeah, you're out there. What's the message coming from? Oh, look, there's not a lot of time to stop and talk about it with them on the field, to be honest. And you know, we talk about it during the week and we're just really trying to work with them. You know, we did really well last week uh, as far as giving penalties away and... This week we just, especially the first half, you know, we'd work well for three or four tackles, and we gave a lot away, tackle four or five, and um, yeah, we spoke about half time. Just you know, discipline's important to fix that up, but look, it's just yeah, they're, they're picking, they're picking everything up. You know, there's no flow to the game at the moment. If someone's half a metre offside, they're penalising them, and you know that's just the way it is. Eh? The penalties at the end of the game were, were penalties, you know, whatever whatever happened out, out there happened, but the, the, the offside penalties. As I said, just, and as Flano said, they're just doing what they're told. Someone's offside, they're going to penalise them. Do you see it changing though? Yeah, mate, I don't know. You're going to have to ask the referees. I'm, I'm not a referee. All I know is I do what our coach tells, tells us to do. We did, worked really hard on it last week with the referee, and I thought we did pretty well. And we spoke about it a lot this week, trying to continue to work with him. And, uh, you know, we did at times, but obviously, I think gave away 14 penalties. It's, you know, that's, that's not what we, what we want to do, so. Um, you yeah, have to ask someone else. We always hold up state of origin as the best way to call the game because the rest of the whistle in their pocket. Are we ruining the game for the fans of the world who are three bits back to the pack chart? Um, well, I think it definitely impacts on you know what the game looks like. Um, you, know, you saw there tonight, um, if there's that many penalties, there are a lot of stoppages, there's not a lot of ball in play, and so it has changed our game, definitely. Um, that many penalties in the game, and you know, it's all started from set starts, there's no um, consistency in it, but as I said, you know, we're at our club, and as Paul said, that we're focusing on working with them. If they're the rules, we've just got to work with them, and we worked really, it was last week's penalty count, I think it was 9-6, which is probably where it should be, and this week was a bit different, and you know, we've just got to as, as player and a coach, uh, I'm not going to whinge about it. I'm just going to work with it. Shane, have you had any member of the referee squad come out and work with the, with the team in the first month of the season or during pre-season, or, or will you try and do that this week? Well, we, we have them out all the time. We have them out weekly. Um, they referee our scrimmages. But See, this, this is a frustrating thing. We're talking about referees here rather than the game. And I don't want to talk about referees. It cost me money from prior. Um, but I don't want to talk about referees, and we don't want to talk about penalties. We want to talk about the game. The Sharks won tonight. Tell us about your defence, though. Yeah, well, to keep uh, Melbourne Storm uh, trialless is a fantastic effort. Um, you know, they're a quality team, and uh, you know, I was really pleased with that. There was a lot of errors in their game, as we already spoke about. There's a lot of penalties, so there's a lot of a lot of stoppages. But defensively, we we're outstanding. I thought they just kept turning up for each other. Um, you know, we had to defend there for a period with 12. You know, early in the game when they had they were fresh, so that was a tough period, and we we handled that. So, um, you know, and even in saying that, we lost three real, real key players out of our game. You know, to lose Moylan Dugan and um, Jason Baku has probably been our best player in the first three or four weeks. Um, that's a big loss. So, you know, as a squad, it's a fantastic win, win for us. Expecting Moylan and Dugan back next week? Yeah, they mightn't get picked, but they might have to play second grade. No, they'll be right. Um, I expect both of them to be very, very close, yeah. Jason McKee is probably a month, but those two should be back. Well, were you surprised the uncharacteristic errors that Milton had? They dropped the ball, I think, on the first and second, sometimes take a little over the sideline. Oh, look, I, I don't know. We, I can't control what they do, and we're not concerned about what they do. We're just concerned about what we could do. And I think Flanner mentioned earlier, we dropped the ball probably three or four times, take a one as well, but taken over the sideline. So they think areas we've got to fix up, but... You know, as funny as I said, I just thought our defence was really good today. We kept turning up for everyone and each other and, you know, especially the amount of ball they had in that first half. Louis was in the bin for 10 minutes. Uh, you know, we just kept turning up and turning them away and that's probably where we won the game. What do you think about the back? Yeah, some really good touches. Um, 
he, he, was, he was good. He was, that's did some, you know, as I said, did some good job uh, defensively organising our line. Oh, as I said, they're, that's another part of the game. They're just sent, sent into the Simba, and you know, I'm, I need to have a look at it again. But you know, if, if he did what he did, he probably needs to go to the Simba, you know. And the same with Cameron. So it's all you know, that, that's the rules of the players. As I said, we're going to finally we're going to get it at some stage that they're going to referee like this, and we just need to toe the line. And but it is hard to toe the line. That's the hardest thing, you know. So if we want the game to have you know 26 penalties, 26 penalties. Fine. We, as I said, we just need to deal with that. We will as a club. Did get pretty nasty girl toward the end? Was there any punches thrown? That was hard to tell. No, no, certainly not. You know, me and Will Chambers were grabbing each other, just <laughs> talking to each other. That's about all that was going on. We both knew none of us could do anything. We both said, <laughs> we're not going to do nothing. So that was more for show than anything. Um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't nothing in it. See, when you saw the motor as well, you could have picked a smaller bloke on the field. Oh, mate, I, I didn't even see him. He grabbed me from behind. So he was that big and tough. He can grab me from the front next time. Thank you.